Hello, this is E67U here, and today, as requested by a fan, I will be showing you how to use HLDJ, specifically for Team Fortress 2. You can also use it for any other games, but this one is particularly in, in the case of Team Fortress 2, because it works best with this game. So right now I'll exit out of that, and I will show you how to install and use HLDJ. And as you may notice, I have this large, stupid Bandicam logo up on the top, bottom, or side of my screen somewhere. Can't remember where. Probably top. And it will... It's because I'm using the unregistered version of Bandicam, unfortunately, because I only have wraps. Either way, you want to look up Google HLDJ, you'll end up on HLDJ.org, go to downloads, get the one appropriate for your system. You can sh There's 32-bit or 64-bit for your system. You can check and see which one is right for you. If you don't know or don't know how, 32-bit is always good. It works with all of them. If you would like to have one optimized for your system, go to Start. This only works for Windows 7, by the way. Windows 8, you may just want to give up on HLDJ or find someone else. Compu right click on Computer, go to Properties, and it will slow open this window right here. System type will be 60. I have a 64-bit operating system. If you have a 32-bit, it will say 32-bit. Don't worry. Obviously. And download the one appropriate for your system. I have 64-bit, so I will download that one. I have already done this before, so it has a different file name. Now, you can close out your browser. Not needed anymore. Go to HL... Click on this and drag it to the folder that you want. I already have it on the desktop, so for this tutorial, I will drag it to somewhere else. Let's create a new folder. Don't need to name anything. Copy to new folder. Now it's opened up in here. And now we run hldj.exe. You may want to uncheck that in case you don't want this to pop up every time. Run. and HLDJ first run. Do not launch the manual. Click yes. Click yes. Play audio key. I have... Um, let's put it as KP... Oop, KP right arrow, which is the numpad for six. Audio directory. Audio. Perfect. Okay. Would you like to create it? Yes, yes, I would love to create it. Don't know why it's not automatically in there, though. And now it has added all my games. Oh, wow, that's a lot of games I don't have. But anyways... So now you've got all that. Launch game application. You will need to have that checked. Do not. You may not. You can. These are optional. And now, you have it here. We are specifically going for Team Fortress 2. And mod 01, you will find out what that is later if I ever get around to it. But Team Fortress 2 is what we're on to now. So, setup. If you have all your games in there, blah blah blah. Okay. And now what you do and if you have if you sometime it will not HLDJ will not automatically install or add games that are not running that you have bought or downloaded after you've set up HLDJ. So these you will have to add manually. So for the hell of it we'll just um let's just remove counter strike source. Alright, now we will add it back by going, we will see, see, 
CS Strike Game Directory. No, wait, that's not what we want. Um, we no longer need this. I don't think. Um, well, it's been a little so long since I've done this. Now we will go down here to Steam. Profile from the x86 Steam or wherever it has installed Steam to. Steam apps, common, Counter Strike Source, C Strike. And now we will copy the file path and put it into the game directory path right there. Click OK. And now it's in our games list. OK. And there we go. Options. Last start game. These are the default options and they are the best options. Audio converter. So we so for this I will use an example. We will use the Doctor Who 2013 theme tune blah blah blah. Just click on the folder that it is in. And oh wait, um Um, but make sure there isn't any, if you don't want any other files getting converted, make sure it's the only one in that folder. So we have it in the folder called 23, so desktop 23, okay, start, Doctor Who 2013 theme tune, dot mp3, and you can only use mp3 files, not WMA, WAV is what it outputs to, so it will not be compatible to input it to. And sometimes it isn't even compatible with itself. Don't know why. Alright, and click cancel, because it's already done that. And you'll be ready to start the game with your new songs. And I'll get back to you when we have the game started. And I will show you all the commands. See you there. And we're back. All right, guys, we are now in the game. And we, and this, and once you get in the game, this console will pop up. And nothing's wrong. It will have all these things. It's like, can't use cheat, CVAR, blah, 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 blah. No, it will not use that. Nothing's wrong. All right, and so, and you may also encounter an error where you try to play a song on a server but it won't play it'll just start using your mic without pressing V or whatever key you have it bound to um, hang on this music's getting annoying audio there we go Alright, so now the audio, the music volume's gone. Um, so what we need to do... So the commands... Easily you can do... What you can do is... The basic commands, all you need to know are... LA... And then you type in the number of the song that you need. So basically, what we're going to do is... We'll just use this one file right here. Titled, No... And now all you have to do is type in the number of it, and it will load. That simple. Then there's also this command. Which 
will show what is playing, and I will give you an in-game example. Um, let's just go on down to Classical 2 Forts. <sighs> Loading up. And now, now that we're in, there is something that you will in console. This is just a single player thing, but this will yeah. prevent you from using HLDJ. SVU Steam Voice. If it's set to one, HLDJ will not work. If there, if it's, but if it's set to zero, it should work. So now, I you can bind. Um, HLDJ SCA to a key. I have it bound to the slash on the keypad. So Get whenever I press it. slash on the keypad, HLDJ. No. And hopefully I don't have to turn cheats on for this, but. And yes, you will be able to hear what you are playing. Oh, they can't go back. You will be able to hear what you are playing while playing it. But if the server does not ha if has this set to 1, watch what happens. Hello. Hello. See, you can only hear yourself. But you do not have to press, you'll be able to hear yourself, but you will not, it is an upside, because you will not have to press V or hold it down, you'll be able to just talk whenever you want, and it will automatically do that, but who wants to do that with it? I mean, that sounds kind of boring. Music is what we want this for. So at any, any time... You can tab out the game, convert new audio, type in LA, then type in 1, it will refresh it, then type in LA again to make sure it worked, and um, make sure you have this back enabled. Um, only admins can change this on most servers. If you're in a single player w server, then you can just type that in and it'll work fine. And now we will just choose a new song or sound clip called exterminate you probably people who know think and people some people may know what this is and yes this is what i'm talking about exterminate exterminate so yes that's how it works very simple these things look weird and that's basically how you use HLDJ so, oh and here's the binds that I have for the HLDJ SCA so if you just type this in console you'll automatically say it but you don't want to go back to console now do you so you just type in bind space I put it as kp underscore slash space and now whenever I press the slash on the on the numpad I will get this without having to do any effort of typing anything in and keep in mind you do actually have to start H TF2 or any game from HLDJ. So I've been six seven, and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it helps you out. See you later.